good day and welcome to the NETI's third quarter 2020 earnings conference call. Today's conference is being recorded and I would now like to turn the conference over to Margaret Scher. Please go ahead, ma'am. Thank you, operator. Please note the discussion today will contain forward-looking statements relating to future performance of the company and are intended to qualify for the safe harbor from liability as established by the U.S. Private Securities Litigation Reform Act. Such statements are not guarantees of future performance and are subject to certain risks and uncertainties, assumptions and other factors. Some of these risks are beyond the company's control and could cause actual results to differ materially from those mentioned in today's press release and this discussion. A general discussion of the risk factors that could affect NetEase business and financial results is included in certain filings of the company with the Securities and Exchange Commission, including its annual report on Form 20F, and the announcement and the filings on the website web exchange. The company does not undertake any obligation to update its forward-looking information except as required by law. During today's call, management will also discuss certain non-GAAP financial measures for comparison purposes only. For a definition of non-GAAP financial measures and a reconciliation of GAAP to non-GAAP financial results, please see the 2020 third quarter earnings news release issued earlier today. As a reminder, this conference is being recorded. In addition, an investor presentation and a webcast replay of this conference will be available on the NetEase corporate website at ir.netease.com. Joining us today on the call from NetEase Senior Management is Mr. William Ding, Chief Executive Officer, and Mr. Charles Yan, Chief Financial Officer. I will now turn the call over to Charles, who will read the prepared remarks on behalf of William. Thank you, Margaret. And thank you, everyone, for participating in today's call. Before we begin, I would like to remind everyone that all percentages are based on B. We are pleased to report another strong quarter with financial and operational growth across all of our primary line of businesses. Our total net revenues increased by around 27% year over year, reaching RMB 18.7 billion for the third quarter. Our net income from continuing operations was RMB 3 billion, which includes a net foreign exchange loss of RMB 1.6 billion compared with RMB 4.1 billion one year ago, which included a net gain on foreign exchange rates. Net revenues from online game services grew by 20% year over year, reaching RMB 13.9 billion in the third quarter, driven primarily by the resilience of our existing titles, a best illustration of our operational efficiency in addition to our R&D expertise. For our PC games net revenues, we delivered 13% growth year over year, well above the general industry trend. With new expansion packs launched for the summer holidays, our legacy PC titles, including Fantasy Westward Journey Online and New Westward Journey Online 2, continued their strength into the third quarter as two of the largest and longest-running game IPs in China, both games continue to attract a loyal crowd after nearly two decades of operation, and we continue to build on that. Take FWJ as an example. Owning to its strong IP effect, we successfully launched FWJ H5, a more casual version on mobile, attracting returning FWJ fans and other MMO players. We continue to expand our strong game portfolio through consistent creation of successful new titles and franchises. We are able to create blockbusters because our games each introduce gameplay and standards that the market has never seen before. Many of them opened up brand new categories that others are eager to follow. This is particularly well demonstrated by the success we have had in SLG and ACG-themed games. We launched Invincible in 2015, which pioneered a new SLG gameplay that has been dubbed Invincible-like SLG, with new game rules 
such as resetting gamers' scores every season and creating a new combat model that encourages players to strategize and form alliances. Overall, the game introduced a much more balanced game experience for SLG gamers. In the last five years since its launch, Invincible has grown steadily and organically in terms of both users and revenue. Celebrating its fifth year anniversary in October, Invincible once again reached the top five on China's iOS game growing chart, further strengthening its position as one of China's biggest SLG titles. Despite numerous Invincible-like games popping up in the market, Invincible holds unwavering loyalty from its fan community. We are going to build upon our expertise in the SLG genre and continue to innovate. Our plans include next-generation SLG games, such as The Lord of the Rings, Rise to War, and Infinite Lagrange, for both China and the global markets. ACG is another widely talked about genre, and our launch of Omioji in 2016 was one of the major factors in turning ACG into a mainstream game genre in China. As the market's very first ACG-themed blockbuster, Omioji has accumulated a large group of loyal followers among younger players, allowing for another chart-topping moment in September with its fourth-year anniversary celebration. As a part of our IP extension strategy, we have a number of games, comics, movies, plays, soundtracks, and other entertainment products lined up. We recently launched Omioji Yokai Koya, a simulation game, the third spin-off game based on the Omioji theme, which followed our MOBA and CCG offerings released in earlier years. We also announced our first movie based on Omioji IP, The Yin Yang Master, which will premiere on Chinese New Year. The movie stars some of China's top actors and actresses and has attracted heated anticipation. While we continue to cultivate Omioji's IP, we are also leveraging our ACG know-how in the development of other games in this genre. At the end of October, we introduced, for all time, our very first ACG-themed dating simulation game. We have also a couple of ACG-themed games lined up for pipeline launch, including Unknown Future and Akasha Book. In line with our innovative spirit, last year we launched the iOS version of Sky, a licensed, award-winning adventure mobile game featuring unique graphics and gameplay, which brings users to a beautifully animated kingdom waiting to be explored. With the launch of its Android version in July this year, we are very pleased to offer this high-quality game to a much larger user base. As another brand new category with almost no direct competition, Sky presents players a heartwarming experience and has established a vibrant fan community among younger generations. In September, with the introduction of an update featuring a new map, along with Adventure Pass, an in-map item similar to Battle Pass, we saw a boost in gross billions for Sky in September, climbing to the top three on China's iOS top growing chart. The prerequisite for us to build a series of successful titles is the corporate DNA to innovate. This is enabled by our world-class R&D infrastructure. We are always discreetly preparing for the latest technologies, and we are always at the forefront of many advanced developments. For example, over the past three years, we have built one of the best in-house game AI labs in China. Our group of experienced scientists are focused on applying the leading AI technologies to our game development. Empowered by AI, we are able to further increase our R&D efficiency, as well as brought in more AI-powered innovative game features and visual effects to enhance our players' game experience. On the overseas front, we are gaining more traction internationally with continuous content updates to our leading titles. 
this quarter, our overseas game revenue has reached a record high. In Japan, Knives Out remained a household name, topping the iOS grossing chart multiple times during the quarter. We further strengthened Knives Out's brand presence by engaging in a series of successful collaborations, including Eva and One Punch Man. Identity 5 also reached the top three grossing games on Japan's iOS uh, grossing chart, following a series of online and offline activities with its second year anniversary celebration in July. Turning to our games under development, we announced a number of titles in our robust pipeline, including Unknown Future, Akasha Book, Revelation Mobile Game, Infinite Lagrange, Harry Potter Magic Awakened, The Lord of the Rings Rise to War, Nightmare Breaker, Ghost World Chronicle, Diablo Immortal, and Pokemon Quest. Revelation is one of our flagship MMORPGs which we have been operating for more than five years on PC. We've just closed the final round of beta testing of its mobile version, and user feedback was very encouraging. Carrying on the legacy of the PC game, Revelation Mobile Game brings players to a big world of discovery and adventure. They can travel across vast fields, through deep oceans and up to the sky. We are expecting to bring this highly anticipated game to the users before Chinese New Year. As for our education business, Youdao had another strong quarter with total net revenues up 159% to RMB 896 million. Gross billions from Youdao's online courses accelerated by 228% year over year to RMB 955 million, supported by our large scale marketing and branding initiatives. Gross billions growth in our K 12 segment reached a record high of. RMB 676 million, up 369% year over year, and K-12 paid enrollment expanding to around 499,000 in this quarter. Youdao further strengthened its servicing capabilities as well. To better serve the new enrollments during the summer, we continued strengthening our top quality instructor team by recruiting those of the highest caliber and we increased the number of teaching assistants by over 600 to around 3,400 now. We are constantly looking to upgrade our content offerings with the best-in-class technology and teaching materials to make learning more efficient for our students. This effectively improves the conversion and retention rates for certain courses during the third quarter. Net revenue of Youdao's learning devices also grew significantly by 289% year over year to RMB 163 million, attributable largely to the huge market popularity of our Dictionary Pen second series. We continue to lease the intelligent learning device market with our active technology advancements. In September, we launched a brand new product named Super Dictionary an electronic dictionary device that supports translating text in photos and all the other functions from Youdao Dictionary without the distraction of smartphones. We are highly committed to online education space, and we believe this is the right time to be acquiring students and taking advantage of the sector's rapid growth. We are confident that Youdao will continue to grow in a robust and sustainable manner. Turning to music, NetEase Cloud Music is growing rapidly. We saw notable increases in the number of paying users, supported by our continued efforts to create an innovative user experience and the recent successful collaboration with Alibaba and their customer royalty Baba VIP program. Paying ratio has also notably improved. In terms of music content, we continue to partner with worldwide music labels and top artists to provide our users with access to the fullest music content possible. In the third quarter, we secured more direct partnerships with leading record labels such as UMG and BMG 
gaining us access to even larger music catalogs. Concurrently, we continue to emphasize on our original music library by strengthening our supporters and investment in independent musicians with dedicated teams of professional songwriters, composers, producers, as well as other resources such as AI technology and marketing solutions. We have various incubation initiatives in place to help young and aspiring musicians to create better music and to be appreciated by the users. NetEase Cloud Music is now home to more than 200,000 independent musicians where they will always find the help and resources they need and an avenue to connect with millions of music lovers. For Yanxuan, we saw encouraging year-over-year -year net revenue growth in the third quarter, as well as continued improvement in operating efficiencies. Our strategic focus for Yanxuan is clear. By creating compelling merchandise, popular products, and enhancing brand recognition among users, Yanxuan is now making steady progress, establishing itself as a leading new consumer brand in China. Some of our most popular products include cat food, Bluetooth earphones, and ergonomic chairs. Each of these, for example, have become the best sellers of their respective categories for online sales in China. Additionally, as we continue to improve our operating efficiencies for Yanxuan, we further enhanced our pro membership benefit, giving our loyal customers value they truly appreciate. This has resulted in rapid growth in pro membership user base. We have also taken strict measures to manage all stages of products, from early de de product development to post-marketing tracking of product performances, effectively lowering the production and logistic costs. In summary, our consistent focus on creating innovative and high-quality content is what propels our leading role within these market verticals and what makes us even more confident as we further expand in each of our key business segments. We will fulfill our commitment to users and shareholders, as always, with a strong sense of purpose and solid rationale focusing on the return on investment. We are confident that we can continue to provide our user community with excellent products and services that support solid long-term returns for our investors. This concludes William's remarks. I will now provide a very brief overview of our 2020 third quarter financial results. Given the limited time on today's call, I will be presenting some abbreviated financial highlights we encourage you to read through our press release issued earlier today for further details. Total net revenues for the third quarter were RMB 18.7 billion or USD 2.7 billion, representing 27% increase year over year. Net revenues from online games were RMB 13.9 billion, up 20% year over year, primarily driven by the increased net revenues of, from FWJH5, Live After, Knives Out, and Sky. Mobile games accounted for approximately 73% of net revenues from our online games in the third quarter. Net revenues from Youdao increased by 159% year over year in the third quarter, reaching a record high of RMB 896 million primarily due to the increased net revenues from online courses with a rapid increase in the K-12 paid student enrollment and increased sales of intelligent learning devices. Net revenues from innovative businesses and others were RMB 3.9 billion for the third quarter, up 42% year over year, mainly due to increased contribution from NetEase Cloud Music business. Our total gross profit margin was 53% in the quarter with a breakdown as follows. GP margin for our online game services for the third quarter was 63.6%. As a reminder, this number is generally stable with some narrow fluctuations based on the revenue mix of PC and mobile as well as self-developed and licensed games. GP margin for Youdao for the third quarter was 45.9% 
comparing to 25.8% a year ago. The year-over-year -year increase was primarily attributable to a significant increase in net revenues, improved economies of scale, and further optimization on our faculty compensation structure. This marks our fourth quarter of consecutive improvement on a sequential basis. GP margin for innovative businesses and others was 16.8% compares to 15.2% for the third quarter of last year. The increase was due to improve the GP margin of NetEase Cloud Music, driven by its strong revenue growth. As a reminder, the GP margin of innovative businesses and others' line would fluctuate, mainly due to the revenue mix of this line. For the third quarter, total operating expenses will remain be $7 billion. Our selling and marketing expenses as a percentage of net revenue were 18.5% compared with 12.8% in the prior quarter. The quarter over quarter increase was mainly due to increased marketing related to Yodao. Excluding Yodao, our selling and marketing expense as a percentage of net revenues were 12.9% comparing with 10.7% in the prior quarter mainly due to increased spending on certain games promotions during the quarter. Our R&D expenses will remain be $2.8 billion as we remain committed to investing in innovative content creation and product development. That's what defines us as a technology company. As a percentage of net revenues, R&D expenses were 14.9 this quarter compared with 13.2% in the prior quarter, mainly due to R&D headcount increase. Our R&D expenses are mainly related to online games. Other income was R&D $266 million for the third quarter, which included net investment income of R&D $1.3 billion, a net foreign exchange loss of R&D $1.6 billion, due to the US dollar's exchange rate depreciation against RMB. This compares with other income of 915 RMB, million RMB in the same period last year, which included investment income of RMB 395 million and a net foreign exchange gain of RMB 121 million. Effective tax rate was 10.9% for this quarter compared with 18.6% in the prior quarter. The effective tax rate is lower this quarter as certain of our subsidies received and recognized uh, certain tax credits in this quarter. Non-GAAP net income from continuing operation attributable to our shareholders for the third quarter of 2020 was RMB 3.7 billion or US dollar 540 million. Our non-GAAP diluted earnings per ADS from continuing operations were RMB 5.35 or US dollars 0.79 for the third quarter. Our cash position remains strong. As of September end, our total cash and cash equivalent, current and non-current time deposits, and short-term investment balance totaled RMB 103 billion compared with RMB 74 billion as of the year end last year. In accordance with our dividend policy, we are pleased to report that our board of directors has approved a dividend of US dollars 0.195 per ADS or US dollars 0.039 per share. As a reminder, we changed our ADS ratio on October 1st from one ADS for every 25 ordinary shares to one ADS for every five ordinary shares. And finally, under our current share repurchase program for up to two billion, as of a September quarter end, approximately 15.3 million ADS has been repurchased under this program for a total cost of US dollar 1.1 billion. Thank you very much for your attention. We would like now to open the call to your questions. Operator, let's go to the Q&A. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to ask a question, you can do so now by pressing star 1 on your telephone. That's star 1 if you'd like to ask a question. We will now take our first question from Alex Poon 
Morgan Stanley. Please go ahead. The line is open. Ding Dong, Charles, Margaret, Uh,你们好,公司非常好的业绩。Uh,想问一下一个,呃,关于游戏海外的战略。Uh,如果我们看,呃,这个疫情过去的九到十个月, 时间其实中国有很多游戏出海都是做的非常成功的 呃，呃，而且在投资方面，因为你们现金也很多，呃，但同时这个竞争格局，呃，感觉也是比较激烈的，因为大家都呃在出海，啊，所所以想在这个方面听一下管理层的的的分享。嗯，啊，translate my question. My question is regarding overseas game strategy. Um, in the last eight, nine to ten months, uh, during COVID. Uh, we have seen very successful expansion, overseas expansion of Chinese uh, mobile games in overseas market, um, even for uh, Chinese RPG games. Um, so NetEase has a lot of uh, strong top legacy RPG IPs. Uh, can you share with us what's your um, strategy in terms of geographical focus, uh, genre, your product, uh, investment, and uh, lastly, uh, about uh, the uh, competition landscape. Thank you very much. <咳>我们对那个海外的游戏市场一直以来非常的重视除了我们在日本取得成功的荒野行动和地无人格那其实我们下来还会继续有一些产品是针对海外市场的比如说很快会上市的哈利波特<咳> 以及未来的一些其他的题材的项目是SLG的 Okay, um, I will provide a brief translation uh, of William's remarks. So Alex, first of all, um, we are very dedicated and focusing on the overseas strategy for NetEase. Um, right now in Japan, we have uh, achieved a small um, step. Um, beyond Japan, we think uh, major markets are what uh, NetEase are eyeing for. Uh, in terms of uh, game lineups, uh, there will be games that's been um, developed specifically for global launch, games such as Harry Potter, as well as uh, certain uh, games in the SLG genre. Uh, there's also another uh, more casual game, Uno, uh, which has been also performing uh, quite well in the overseas market. Going forward, we are very confident about our um, NetEase developed games competitiveness when Chinese uh, games are going overseas because quality and the sophistication of these games are what we think we have a competitive edge vis-a-vis -vis the peers. Okay. Operator, next question, please. Thank you. We will now take our next question from Elise Cheng from GS. Please go ahead. The line is open. Uh, Ding Zhong, Charles Zhong, uh, Margaret, 晚上好谢谢接受我的提问首先恭喜这个公司这个界计公司强劲的表现然后我这边有一个关于游戏的问题我看到我们游戏这边其实运营上这个 
，又会不会有个游戏市场饱和？但我们同时其实也在推出推出很多不同的这个 j a 的游戏，所以对我们来的机会的话，其实是不是可能更多在策略和包括一些 ACG 方面？那如果在海外的话来说的话，因为其实很多强 IP 的游戏在欧美市场目前看来是以策略性的游戏去进攻的，所以我可能想请关于它能不能是详细分享一下我们从整一个市场的这个呃未来的一些看法和我们自己公司的策略上面，呃未来三到五年长期的话是什么样的？想法，谢谢。啊、呃，这个全球的游戏市场，我们是感到很乐观的。啊、呃，对我们非常乐观。啊、呃，你看那个前两天，索尼的啊、呃、PlayStation 的五和 Xbox 在全球啊发、呃、售了，啊、呃，到目前为止是啊、呃、抢购一空，啊、呃，然后呢，这次疫情。啊，也让很多人在家里的娱乐，啊，不仅仅是啊看剧，啊，也有更多的一起参与到啊这种互动性的啊游戏里来啊，呃、啊，所以我们对啊全球的游戏的市场是啊非常非常啊乐观的，我相信这是一个非常好的产业，呃、啊，我们在这个行业里面做了二十年。啊，我们也积累了很多的经验，也有一支非常庞大的啊这个研发团队和大量的研发的支出，在这个市场啊，在在在这个领域里面，所以我们很有信心啊，在未来的不管中国还是海外的市场上啊，取得更好的啊这个成绩。我们希望海外的市场，或者是说，是日本，我们还希望是有机会能够在欧美也取得。啊，巨大的成功啊！对，就这是我的一个观点。Okay. okay, um, I will I will briefly translate the question and then also the translation of William's remarks. So the question is asking, uh, what is in the next three to five years? What is the NetEase game uh development strategy? Um, uh, how what what is our view of of this this industry? Uh. Both in China and globally, William's、uh, response is that so. First of all, we think this is a very good sector.、Uh, game entertainment is a very good sector. If if you read the recent news of how well received that PS5 and Xbox were by the global consumers, as well as for instance throughout the COVID-19、um, situation, entertainment. New format of game interactions are all being、um, being encouraged. It's being it's 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 a demand demanded. There's a strong demand from the consumer side. So we think this is really a good sector with a very promising future、uh, upside. Now focusing back to Nadis, we have a track record of almost two decades dedicating ourselves in game development and game operation. We are willing to invest more and more into the future, into R and D, into marketing, and we we are not only complacent about Japan, but we are also eyeing for the mainstream Western market, West market, European market. So all in all, we are very confident that by combining our experience, track record, willingness to invest, and also our our savviness into Um, directing the、uh, genres of future game development, we are very confident that our high-quality game product can be well received by both the domestic China market as well as more geographies in the international market. Operator,、uh, let's go to the next question, please. Thank you. If you wish to ask a question in Chinese, please translate to English due to the time limit, and please limit to one question per time. We will now take our next question from Elisa Yap from Citigroup. Please go ahead; the line is open. Hi,、um, thank you. Hey,、uh, William, Charles, Margaret. 晚上好，谢谢接受我的提问。啊、uh, ，恭喜一个很不错的业绩。呃、uh, ，我是关于云音乐的，我这边的 question 哈，就是想管理层大概就是跟我们分享一下，觉得整个中国呃音乐的这个趋势，您觉得说未来是不是只有两家？
这个平台，还是说啊、呃，你们其实觉得有一些新的一些呃，就是公司会发展起来，然后。会带动这个整个行业竞争格局会更加激烈。然后呃，我们网易云音乐这边有没有一个就是说呃这个 market share 的一个 target 哈啊？所以呃，我自己翻译一下。嗯、um, ，so 呃、uh, ，my question is related to the online music. So 呃、uh, ，how does management envision the future landscape of online music industry in China? Will there remain just two、uh, major players, or do you foresee more players will come into the market? And is there a market share target that NetEase Cloud Music hope to achieve in the future? Thank you. Uh, we in this industry, uh, have been in this industry for seven years. Uh, the whole of Chinese music users now have become a dominant market. 那很少有人再去下载 MP3 或者去书店里买 CD。呃，目前市场上是两家。啊、呃，那我我们看到希望未来是，呃，网易能够在这个市场中遥遥领先，市场份额中遥遥领先。那我们非常希望能够以自己的力量，去推动中国原创的音乐。我们既希望通过。呃，提供更多的中国出色的原创音乐，来为，来获得消费者对我们这个平台的认同。我们也希望我们的知识能够帮助到中国更加多的原创独立音乐人，啊、呃，能够在网易的平台上更好的发展。啊、呃，所以我认为啊、呃，未来的情景应该是两家或者，或者有一家是会遥遥领先。这是我的一个一个观点，谢谢。Okay, um, I will provide a brief translation、uh, of William's remarks. So first of all, um, uh, we have launched、uh, Natty's Cloud Music since more than seven years ago, and over the last seven years, as we we all can see, the consumer habit has dramatically changed to、um, uh, streaming music, streaming、uh, consumption. Rather than buying a CD or, or downloading an MP3,、um, we right now there are two players. Obviously, we are very confident and ambitious that、um, into the future we will have a leading market share.、Uh, the way for us to position ourselves is on one side, we do want to emphasize on original and organic music. And bring them to the end users to be better appreciated and accessed by the music listeners, and at the very same time provide resources to support and nurture China's independent musicians in in supplying more and more、um, high quality music content, building a, a healthy cycle uh, organically. Um, obviously. Um, There might be more challenges, challenges coming into this sector, but we are confident that as long as we commit to the purpose and mission,、uh, we should be able to achieve a leading market share in this very promising online music sector in China. Thank you, Charles. Thank you, William. Operator, next question, Thank please.、You. Thank you, Alicia. We will now take our next question from Kenneth Fong from Credit Suisse. Please go ahead. The line is open. Hi, uh, Ding Zhong, Charles, uh, Margaret, 你们好，呃，接呃，感谢接受我的提问。我一个问题就是，呃，最近看到一些游戏经过不同，呃，已经不经过传统的哦，呃 ，Android 渠渠道去分发，比如说《原神》，他们在 B 站了、泰泰了，也非常做得非常成功，嗯、呃。在这个游戏分发的渠道越来越多之下呢，还有包括新的云游戏平台，呃，我们怎么看将来这些渠道的费用下降的空间呢？呃
中线来讲的话，对我们这个 margin 的帮助，我们应该怎么想呢？我先翻译一下。呃、uh, ，We noticed that、uh, some recent game launch like、uh, Jinsen Impact have been launching through like B, uh, Bilibili and TapTap、uh, have been、um, to avoid the high revenue sharing of、uh, Android channel.、Uh, with the success of this launch as well as the cloud gaming platforms,、um, is it means that、um, uh, The power of negotiation power is gradually shifting towards us as a major game developer.、Uh, how should we think about the margin upside over the medium term,、uh, and, and also any room for this channel fee to、uh, gradually de decline over time? Thank you.、Uh, we are very optimistic about this because China is the largest player in the world in game development. 这个很奇怪的是，目前这个安卓的发行渠道比国外贵将近百分之七十，国外只要百分之三十，而我们中国目前还百分之五十，啊，所以这里的空间是非常的大，啊，我们也很认同像啊米他游的原神，去通过啊自有的渠道进行发行，啊，这是一个非常出色的这个发行的这个。这个这个这个市场市场动作，那我也注意到昨天晚上苹果也把对小公司的这个费用降低到了百分之十五。那从这些来看，就是啊、呃，发行渠道和内容提供商之间的博弈是逐渐应该会倾向于内容提供商的，啊，这是我一个比较乐观的一个事情。那下来，我下来在，我相信在国外，啊，应该 Google 也会考虑去跟进吧，啊，那国内啊，其实有更多的渠道去提供这个发行方式。啊，谢谢老板。对。啊 ，I will provide a, I'll provide a brief translation of William's remarks. So, Kenneth, so first of all, uh, we remain very optimistic on how the future trend is shifting. Uh. Right now, as we all know, China is arguably the most expensive channel fee、uh, country in the world,、uh, especially for、um, Android channel fee, whereby the global standard is、uh, the same as、uh, Apple iOS App Store, 30 percent. In China, the norm is 50 percent Android channel fee. So we also encourage、uh, players such as Yuan Shen and others, including ourselves, to try to explore. Other non-conventional ways of distributing high-quality content to the end users.、Um, last night, I, I think we all saw the news that Apple has announced that they are going to reduce the channel fee、uh, to 10 percent for、um, uh, small developers in an effort to encourage uh, the um, the uh, better upside and economics for the developers. We do think uh, probably uh, Google Play and others will 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 also follow suit. Let's let's wait and see. But、uh, but broadly speaking, as a as a trending uh, uh, wise, uh, a shift towards content providers is is probably a, a more more and more clear and visible trend that we can all observe globally, and that should also come to China. 谢谢丁总，谢谢 Charles。Thank you. We will now take our next question from Bonnie Wong, HSBC. Please go ahead. Hi, ah,、uh, 谢谢丁总，呃，啊，恭，谢谢丁总，谢谢 Charles and Margaret， 恭喜一个非常强劲的业绩。啊、uh, ，那我的问题呢，就想请教一下呢，就是在我们的呃销售费用方面，那我们看到销售费用呢，这个 quarter 还是真的涨涨得挺多的。那我就是把有道那个去掉了，其实呃 sequentially 我们从呃一个 as a percentage of revenue 的收入占比都去到百分之十三嘛。那我就想请教一下，就是说有一些什么一些。结构上的一些原因，就是对我们的 sales and marketing strategy 的有看法，也是不是因为我们这个季度也 launch 了一些 overseas 的游戏，嗯，那如果我们再看未来，我们有一些就是大的游戏，比如说 Diablo 啊，啊、呃、那些在 launch 的时候呢，这个我们是不是应该 directionally 这个还会有一个呃上升的空间，呃上升的原呃呃呃呃之后的 trend， 啊、呃，那我很快翻译我的问题啊，呃 ，my question is mainly on the 
sales and marketing expense. Uh, we actually see that uh, even excluding your Dow, uh, NetEase itself also increased the, in terms of the sales and marketing as the percentage of revenue. Um, is it because of the, some of the overseas launches? And then into going forward into the future quarters, as we are launching some of the bigger claims we had in the pipeline, uh, shall we expect um, that are different changes or any uh, structural changes in our marketing strategies uh, that we should be aware of too. Uh, thank you so much. And congrats on a very strong quarter again. Uh, thank you, Penny. Uh, uh, I, I will answer this uh, selling marketing expense uh, question uh, directly from my end. Um, well, uh, I think for uh, Yodao, uh, Dao, they've, they've hosted the earnings call uh, uh, j just just now I had this call, the explanation was uh, fairly sufficient that we are very, very confident that this is the right time and we are in a ready state to continue to invest more aggressively in acquiring users. Uh, we will be rewarded by the ROI uh, given the, uh, how, how, how prudent we are. Although we are investing more into selling marketing in Yodao, but uh, the unit economics works, so this, we are not shy of investing more into expanding our market share and the user scale as, as robust as possible. Excluding your DAO, for this quarter, our selling marketing as a percentage of net revenues, again, excluding your DAO, stays at around 12.9%, uh, slightly below 13%. This is still a very healthy level comparing to many of the industry peers. Um, our Maddie's approach towards selling marketing is, is always very straightforward. It is always ROI driven. We have a very, very high standard of the required rate of return internally. So when we invest, by the way, the excluding your DAO, uh, the substantially, substantial amount of the selling and marketing are game related. Now game related either for the existing titles for the maintenance um, OPEX that we spend to maintain the longevity and the efficiency of the gross billion, as well as new games such as the FWJ H5 and new genres of the games that we, we will uh, going to launch down the road. So all in all, I do not think um, when we tap into international market, when we go into a new genres, that's a determining factor for us to um, spend irrationally, uh, regardless of which market, which genre, or which specific new game that we are going to launch, I think we always do a very prudent math behind it uh, before, we, before we deploy the selling and marketing um, uh, resources. So it's just a matter of, of, of timing gaps. Uh, sometimes we will be launching, uh, uh, we will be spending upfront in the same quarter, but the gross billion of these um, of selling, sell, sales, sales and marketing expenses will be reflected into the gross billions, which might be only recognized in the subsequent quarters into recognized revenue. Oh, thank you, Charles. Very clear. Thank you. Thank you. We will now take our next thank you, question Bini. from Natalie Wu, Hatong International. Please go ahead. Your line is open. Hey,呃，晚上好，谢谢接受我的问题，也恭喜啊，长进的业绩。那呃，我是想再追一下这个Binny的问题啊，就是咱们增加的这个sales 啊低了四个点，那啊除去说这个啊就是可能说音乐的这啊低低利利润率的音乐它的收入贡献增加的这么一个因素之外的话，是不是有对其他的业务啊追加了就加大了一些这个投入呢？然后就讲到音乐的话
So um, thanks for taking my question and congratulations for a very solid quarter. So my question is uh, regarding um, the uh, the increased sales and marketing. Just wondering how much of that is related to uh, cloud music. And um, regarding your margin, if we exclude the impact of Kaula uh, deal last year and uh, also Yodao, Yodao's expanded loss, actually the margin dropped 4% uh, year over year. So just wondering how much of that is related to expanding scale of low margin music business or uh, if you stepped up uh, some investments on the uh, on other business units. And also speaking of uh, cloud music, how should we think of the uh, revenue model composition of music business as well as the margin profile going forward? Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you, Natalie. Uh, it's a finance related question, so I'll answer directly from my end. Uh, for this quarter, total selling market expenses was $3.4 billion. Uh, roughly speaking, $1.15 billion is your DAO. The remaining about $2.3 billion are selling market excluding your DAO. Out of that $2.3 billion, um, uh, super majority of that is game related. So. Um, music, Yanxuan, media, and others comparing to games, that's, a, that's, a, that's, that's just represent a small fraction. So it is not really about us investing irrationally into some lower return uh, segments in a big amount. Um, you've also pointed out uh, the declining trend of the um, operating margin overall. I think um, I think obviously, mathematically, a, a big reason of that is what I just explained to Bini's question. There's a timing gap, right? For instance, for both Yodao uh, and, and games uh, in particular, the expenses are uh, recognized in this quarter. However, um, gross billions are not entirely recognized into revenue into the same quarter. Uh, beyond that, uh, there's also a, another factor is uh, in in the game revenue mix, for instance, um, the PC and PC and mobile game ratio stays relatively stable. However, within the mobile games, we are also pioneering with some different genres of the games. Um, uh, for instance, FWJH5, which is a more casual mobile game. So even though it is the same broad category of a mobile game, but if you were to look at a more casual game vis-a-vis -a, -vis a, a hardcore MMORPG uh, mobile game, they would demonstrate different uh, margin profiles. I think that's another small factor explaining why uh, you are observing um, a, a downward trend of the, um, of the operating margin. That, in fact, reminds us of many years ago when we decided to transition from the PC game uh, into mobile games, um, a revenue mix change uh, resulting in certain margin profile uh, changes, I do think that's, again, it's, it's a mathematics, right? Whether you want a bigger pie, whether Natty is bold enough and confident enough to tap into more genres of the games they might be demonstrating some different margin profiles versus our most familiar MMORPGs, but we do think it is the right move for us to be more diversified in terms of uh, genre offering. So Natalie, hopefully it answers your question. Yes, very clear. But uh, what about the longer term margin profile of our music business? Oh, for music. music. Uh, so you you hide your second question into your first question. Yeah. Uh, for music, yeah. So I have to admit that it is still a loss-making business for now, even at the uh, GP margin level, because we all know that the uh, music uh, content licensing fee it is still at an irrationally high level. Uh, because our um, music monetization is uh, uh, is growing uh, very well, the uh, economies of scale is helping us to improve the margins. So in a sense, it is still negative GP margin, negative um, 
operating margin, but the negative margin is being uh, narrowing down. Um, going into the future, I, we do think the macro trend is in favor of us. On one side, the, um, uh, the music record labels, music licensing fees are more rationalized, especially following the non-exclusive licensing arrangements into the medium to longer run. At the same time, we are also uh, emphasizing a lot more uh, organic and original music from independent musicians. Uh, with all that, I think um, uh, uh, it, is, it, is, it, is, it is something to expect that uh, very soon, um, in two to three years' time, the overall China's online music segment should be a very profitable segment. Got it, very clear. Thank you, Charles. Thank you. We will now take Thank our you. next question from Thomas Kong from Jefferies. Please go ahead. Your line is open. Uh,我的问题也是关于音乐方面的。呃,刚刚提到就是,呃,我们在这个,呃,变现方面呢,刚刚提到一点。呃,我想再问一下呢,就是从这个付费用户数,然后就是从这个直播那边的收入来看的话
at least Nadi's cloud music is not just a platform to, to play songs. It is an avenue for social interaction. So social interaction, uh, social media, this is, a, this is a direction that we are focusing a lot on, exploring potentially new business models and potentially new monetization models. Thank you, Charles. Congratulations on a strong set of results. Thank you, Thank Thomas. You. Ladies and gentlemen, that will conclude today's Q&A session. I will now turn the call back to your host. Thank you for, for joining us today. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us directly or TPG Investor Relations. Have a great day. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, that will conclude today's call, and you may now all disconnect. <laughs>